Hi friends and foxes, <laughs> today I'm picking the Schlüssel Fritz lock uh, from Augsburg. This is a lock from Julian and I've promised to pick it on camera for him uh, before sending it back. <laughs> it's a pretty nice bidding, uh, watered like hell, you will see in a moment. And it has uh, more numbers <laughs> than fit uh, on the back. No idea what this is. <laughs> Uh, pretty tricky lock. Um, I've uh, actually clamped it in the vise here. You can see the wording is uh, very nasty. <coughs> but let's give it a try. It's probably a standard lock. Um, we both have no idea uh, what it is, what brand it is. <coughs> so it's locked. Let's see. Um, and I will try to get uh, under this part of uh, the wording. Uh, let's check the pins. Actually, it's not that easy to uh, to find the right path here. But let's give it a try. Okay. One feels relatively loose. A little click of two. Three is deep down. Okay, got it pretty high. It was two again. Uh, four. Let's see, five, it's loose. Four. Maybe I've overset something. Two. No, I think three did fall down. Very hard to ah, it gets open. <laughs> Very hard to navigate in this lock. Mm, as I said, probably standard. Uh, I didn't feel anything else than a standard pin. You can see a whole lot of numbers on the side. Uh, and I'm actually very curious what's inside. I have not opened it uh, so far. I will zoom in a little moment. Uh, <laughs> I have my tension, my uh, oh. Okay. Uh, I don't have my um, screwdrivers here. Let's see what I can do. What I can do here. A little bit of a fail. Yeah. Very, very hard to remove this clip. But, mission done. <laughs> and some little markings on the finger. Okay, uh, where's the top? Uh, the pins. I'll turn it a little bit this way and I. I don't want to mess up his lock, so I will at least try to get a shim in. It looks very tight, I have no idea if he will be successful. Okay. At least a little bit. But easy to see where. Oh, here. Okay, where's the top? Uh, okay. Do it quick and dirty. Okay. <laughs> there are two. Oh, yes. It looks like. Looks like some. Some little pins here. Which are pressed into. I have no idea why. Okay, let's see what's inside. Yeah, one is a standard. Actually, I've ordered uh, some new tweezers yesterday and I will try to make nice new pinning tweezers from them. Hopefully, this will work out. So I will. 
finally have nice tweezers. A little bit oily here. All standard pins so far. Yes, on standard pins you can see you can see the bitting. Uh, the core looks pretty standard, there is nothing done. Uh, a lot of veer, veer, probably pretty old lock. Um, let's set the key. Yeah, you can see in a close up the uh, keyway. Try to get a little bit of light into it. Let's see. I just hit it. Yeah, you can see the wording. Very, very nasty wording. Um, but not a hard pick as you have seen. Um, There's uh, pin 3, uh, very high. Here we have a standard and one. Uh, pin 3, uh, key pin 3 is very high. Uh, you just. Oh! This is a surprise. <laughs> I double surveyed I did not feel this at all. Um, another double surveyed Okay. <laughs> this turns out to be a little surprise for me. <laughs> uh, Another double surveyed, pretty strong springs here inside. Let's get them out. Relatively long. Okay. I expected only normal pins, so this is something, something new here. Pretty nice pins anyway. And another, another surveyed, which is. Back now here. Well, I can show you one in a close up. You can see very deep serrations. I didn't feel any of these. And it's not a, no, it's not a multi part pin, it's a, just very deep serrations. Um, yeah, and the Bible is all standard, 5 pin lock. Nothing done. It's uh, pretty hefty. It's uh, brass, or it might even be uh, bronze. I have no idea. It's uh, pretty dark. We'll try <coughs> to zoom in on the pins for you. You can see them nicely. Very cool, very cool serrated pins here. Wow, this was a surprise. <laughs> and uh, steel pins, pins in uh, one. Uh, they are not tapered or so, they are just plain. Yeah, pretty cool lock. <laughs> uh, I hope you did like it and we will see you in another video. Bye. Hi friends, me again. <laughs> it's a little add-on. Uh, I want to show you the reassembly process and the advantage of a V-groove. Uh, you can do this with your follower made of wood or anything. Uh, I've uh, put already the springs in. <coughs> Places on, place it on the last pin and then uh, just let the pin drop into the V-groove and push it down onto the spring. If the last pin is a little bit harder, uh, I can't see but deep into the into the lock core. Okay. And then you push it slightly forward. Yeah, it's very easy. Einfach, uh, you you uh, just Place it there, push it down. Um, the shape of a pin doesn't matter. It will uh, rest nicely in this groove here. 
And before this uh, V-shaped follower, I used the one which was uh, designed by Boris for pinning hole. But uh, actually, I like the V-shaped nowadays a little bit more, uh, as it is easier to load with the pins. Eh? You can see, just lay the pin in, hold the lock um, horizontal a little bit, um, push down the pin, and here the last one, you can see it pretty well, you just lay it in, push it down, and it rests nicely uh, in this V groove. So let's fast fill the key pins in. A very long pin, pin four, but you will see they are all active. Uh, all these problems with the short ones here. Yeah, they are nicely deep down. Keys working just fine. <coughs> so let's see. I think we don't need the, the shim. Just be fast enough. Uh, and this is it. Uh, I think it was placed this way. At least I hope. Yes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Lock works nicely again. <laughs> so just as a little add-on uh, for you. <laughs> See you. Bye.